Hey, what's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review on the True Glow Omnia 6. It's a 1 to 6 power and uh, stick around, we'll go ahead and get into it. So this is just going to be a quick review. Um, it's dark out now, so I won't be shooting it to show you guys. Um, I will probably do that later on at some point. So first off, I guess I just want to let you guys know that I'm rating this scope probably you know right around a 4 out of 5. Um, I'll start with the advantages first, and then I'll go ahead and talk about why I rated it 4 out of 5 instead of a 5. So one of the first advantages right out of the box that I noticed... Um, Usually with a good piece of glass, it has decent weight to it, and the Omnia 6 definitely has some good weight, um, being a 1 to 20, or sorry, 1 to 6 by 24. Um, you know, it's, it's still got that pretty decent weight. They also have a decent warranty on it. Um, next advantage, I would say, one thing that really stuck out to me is the turrets. So you can see here that they are locked right now, um, but if you go ahead and pull out, then you can twist this. Um, super easy for windage adjustments and elevation, different things like that. The next thing I want to talk about here is the adjustable focus. Super easy to use, um, does not stick out very far, and it, you know it just works really well. One of the things that I have found with this, like I said, it's a one to six power scope. Um, a lot of those cheaper scopes like this that go down to one power are not true one power. If you look through it, it has a little bit of zoom to it. Um, if you get the adjustment of the focus just right, you cannot tell a difference at all. It's it's just like a vortex scope. I'm not sure what theirs is called that's similar to this, um, but it, it works all the same. So the next thing I want to talk about is they threw in the box this cant lever. And, you know, I had mixed feelings about it at first, how much it sticks out. But for plinking around and switching from different distances of targets, um, it just makes it that much smoother to, to change your power. You know, going from one power all the way to six. I mean, it, I'm only using one hand now, but it, it goes pretty quick. So one more main advantage is going to be the one-piece Aptus uh, mount. And, you know, you, you can buy cheaper mounts and whatnot. It seems like they come loose and stuff. But... I've tightened these and I probably shot it, I don't know, 150 times with this scope on here. And I've had zero issues. It, it's on there tight. Um, I've never really had to worry about it. So good job on uh, True Glow's part for throwing that in there. So one of the main disadvantages, really there's, there's two. Um, they're not a huge deal. Uh, first one being the scope caps. They are pretty chintzy. They work, they work fairly well. Um, but you can see here it's pretty dark where that pin's supposed to go. It's because it actually wants to walk out when you open it. So I'll go ahead and flip it here. Before I started this video, I actually put it the pin all the way in. See if I get it to focus here. You can see it's sticking out just a little bit now. And I've only opened it a couple times since I started this video. Same with the back. Uh, the back one's not near as bad, but... It's just a disadvantage to me. You know, eventually, if you're not paying attention, uh, those are going to come out and you're going to lose them, and then you're not going to have uh, a cover to, to cover your glass. So the main disadvantage that I've noticed with this scope is after shooting it several times, it gets uh, little black dots in it from the powder coating or the paint that's on the inside of the scope. So I don't think that you guys can see it that well from this video. Um... It's just something I guess you guys are going to have to take my word on. I've tried doing the textbook method where you take a, a textbook or a phone book and smack the side of the scope. That definitely seemed to help. That got a lot of the big um, specs out of it. But there's still little ones. Really, it, it does not impair uh, when you shoot. It's just kind of annoying seeing those, and especially if you paid money for a decent scope. Um, it's just a little frustrating seeing those, you would think that that stuff would stick on there a little better. Um, but really, that, that's my main disadvantage. You know, other than that, just those scope caps, how that how that pin tries to walk out. But other than that, um, just wanted to do a quick review on it. I've had this scope for a while, and hopefully I can get a video up here soon where I'm shooting it. But 
that's all I've got for you guys. Just a quick little review on the Omnia 6. Uh, 1 to 6 by 24 uh, millimeter. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and throw them down below. Thanks.